Hey everyone, my name is Gal Shafir uh, and I lead our global security architects team here at Google Cloud Security. And in our demo today, I'm going to show you how our groundbreaking Chronicle Security Operations platform uh, enables security teams to detect, investigate, and respond to cyber threats with the speed, scale, and intelligence of Google. The platform overall is built out of three core pieces, SIM, SOAR, and Applied Threat Intelligence all of which are natively built into a single unified solution that is easy to set up and use. Uh, and it really supports security analysts and engineers through their entire journey of collecting the logs, normalizing and enriching them with more data, uh, detecting threats and searching through them to the operationalized uh, side of operationalizing them, making them actionable through case management, collaboration, automated playbooks and triage, to really the decision-making process uh, and, and ending up in a resolution. Uh, and to make things even better, we supercharge our Chronicle SecOps platform with Duet AI, which is Google Cloud uh, Cloud's uh, AI collaborator that provides generative AI-powered assistance to make things even easier for people to adopt and see uh, quick value out of it. So on the you know, flow part of, of the platform, um, this is kind of what it looks like, right? On the SIM side, I'll say that Google certainly knows a thing or two about scale and searching through large amounts of data is you know, literally what Google uh, is known for doing in lightning speed. Uh, Google has applied the same scale and speed to Chronicle. So it can ingest huge amounts uh, of data uh, and analyze it uh, from you know, multi-cloud environments, SaaS environments, and on-premise environments um, to detect and investigate threats. On the SOAR piece, uh, Google Cloud's you know, uh, recent acquisition of Simplify uh, you know, for security automation, orchestration, and respond, um, and it's designed to enable security teams to collaborate, manage their SOC, and to automate workflows and respond to threats within minutes instead of hours or days. On the applied threat intelligence side, which really goes across this entire platform throughout the entire journey, I think that many security vendors can say that, you know, can talk the talk, but very few of them can really walk the walk. And I'm sure a lot of vendors out there can claim that they have great in threat intel, but very few, if any, can claim that they're actively protecting billions of users and mailboxes and devices and browsers on a daily basis. Uh, and as a result, Google has built its own thesis around what good threat intel should look like. Now, combine that internal knowledge that Google has with VirusTotal, which is the world's largest crowdsourced threat intel observatory, with Mandiant Threat Intel, which is one of the world's leading curated detection and intelligence sources that exists today in the world, and you get what we like to call the largest threat telescope in the world, uh, which is now available to customers and infused into our SecOps offering as part of this platform. So um, let me put my junior security hat on uh, and start by diving into this case queue, which is really the place where analysts spend most of their time. All of those cases that you can see here on the left were created by alerts that were ingested by detection rules, uh, including our out-of-the-box curated detections and out-of-the-box UEVA detections, uh, or really by any other supported data source like monitored phishing mailboxes or other third-party SIM vendors that can be plugged in, et cetera. Of course, that the automation and response has been processing this queue already, closing out a lot of noise and false positives, um, so the queue that you see here includes only the alerts that still need my input on. Um, some of these alerts have mature playbooks and merely require analyst validation uh, to finalize remediation. And some alerts and cases here uh, have completed triage and enrichment and are ready for us to dive deeper into communication and remediation. So let's just open this uh, cryptocurrency uh, mining case. The first thing that we'll see is that Chronicle uses patented technology to group related alerts into threat-centric cases. This way an analyst handles a threat-oriented case as opposed to individual uh, alerts and events uh, that would probably go to a different analysts that are actually probably a part of the same potential threat. 
So I'm about to start investigating this cryptocurrency mining case, uh, which grouped two seemingly unrelated alerts. Um, the first alert tab is noticed as the malware detection from our out-of-the-box EDR detection rules. Uh, and the second alert tab uh, notifies me of a crypto mining activity that has been detected by Google's Security Command Center. This is probably indicating malicious activity, and I'm being asked to take action and contain the endpoint. But before I take that action, I want to further understand what's going on. Normally, uh, in order to understand this case uh, and, and what's going on here, I would need to take some time to figure out what the threat is um, and how it affects my organization. I would also need to probably go through all of the alerts grouped in this case one by one and check all the events and entities and enrichment from the playbook that are involved here. And I would also probably need to go through the case wall and see you know, the playbook results and outcomes and decide uh, if any further steps should be taken. However, now that I click on the case uh, tab, I see that Duet AI has automatically collected all of the full context and then summarized the case for me, front and center. In fact, based on the guidance here, I see where things are at. Why should I consider looking at this case with a higher priority, plus recommendations on what are the next steps uh, to respond to this threat? Um, further, by clicking on the Explore button here on the top right, I can see the entities graph correlating the common entities involved with this detection for the alerts. Uh, in, in this case, I can see it's you know, involved with an asset labeled as Lin Miner 01. So going back to the top of the alert here, um, I see that there's a playbook um, that was designed for the scenario actually, and was automatically triggered for this alert. And it actually has a pending action, right? We'll explore playbooks in more detail, but for now, um, I can see right away uh, that by you know clicking on the view playbook tab, I can actually pivot to my playbook. Um, and when I do that, I see that the playbook has sent some emails and ran some threat intelligence, performed enrichment, made some decision, um, and also gathered contextual data on the endpoint from CrowdStrike in this case. This is really helpful for me uh, so far, but really before taking the further action here of containing the endpoint or escalating the case. I just want to have a further understanding of the type of malware that has been detected by Chronicle um, curated detection rules um, with leveraging the, the threat intel that we have here from Virus, Sotal, and Mandiant. And then I want to scope out the impact of this malware to my environment. So um, I'm going to start that uh, process by clicking on the overview tab from the playbook and pivoting here. Once I'm in the malware detection uh, overview here, I scroll down uh, to review the malware verdict, right? With 46 out of 70 um, engines as positive provided by virus Sotal, alongside the malicious confidence rating, which is 100, as you can see here, uh, provided by the Mandiant Threat Intelligence. By the way, both of those threat intel sources are included as part of our Enterprise Plus SecOps uh, uh, package for customers. So at this point, I understand that I need to quickly scope the impact of this malware to my environment and start moving forward with a response. To learn more about this threat that I'm facing, I can see what the virus total community is saying about this threat uh, in the attribution tab. Right, So I see all the comments here from the community. And now um, that I've verified that the crowdsource intelligence suggests me that I'm dealing with something probably malicious here, I can decide to pivot into Mandiant's curated detection and see what the Mandiant Intel analysts have curated around this threat uh, to learn more about the risk for my industry, for my organization, threat actors, tactics, and targets here. Um, so I can click on the Mandiant link right here um, to see what the analysis is. In the Mandiant Advantage platform, it really gives me much more visibility into this threat. So I can quickly, quickly see uh, what are the threat actor attributes and malware associations. I can figure out quickly who is targeting, uh, why, and what are other IOCs that are known to be related to this threat. 
So I can later add them potentially to my Chronicle investigation and extend it by hunting for them in my environment. I see that this hash is linked to a threat actor called APT43. And clearly, if I click on that, I see that there's a lot of attributes and articles and associations and IOCs related to it um, that really refer to it in the Mandiant Advantage platform. Um, but in order to see all of them, I can actually you know, decide to run a search on that term APT43 to get to all of them. Normally, um, I'd have to you know, maybe write a report about this threat that's targeting my industry. But normally, I'd have to parse through 11,000 plus results to you know, spend time figuring out which threat intelligence uh, reports and threat intel objects are related to my mission and decide which core takeaways are relevant. But now, with Duet AI, I see the content on this threat actor instantly summarized from Mandiant massive corpse of intel data. Plus, this model is grounded, which helps reduce uh, LLM hallucinations and means that I have accurate summaries to use in my reporting uh, that I might want to create for my team, including my CISO and SOC manager. I can immediately see here in the report and in the summary um, that this threat intel, uh, this threat uh, is deploying crypto miners uh, and is targeting financial organization, um, Android app developers and journalists. And now that I understand all of this context, I can pivot back to my case with all the new understandings that I have. So when scoping out a malware like uh, case like this, you'd need to access uh, some historical EDR data to confirm if there are other assets that have been observed and associated with the malware uh, hashes, for example. Um, and you need to be able to search the historical EDR data very quickly. Regardless of, of the data volumes and, and the formats of the data. The beauty about Chronicle Security Operation is that it's enabling you to do that across huge amounts of data sets with a single click. So let me show you by clicking the Explore button here right next to this um, red file hash to see if there's more context around this hash. Once I click Explore, I immediately see that there's three distinct assets that have been observed with the crypto miner uh, hash right related to them in past events. So my scope just went from one asset to three, dating back to August 22nd to, uh, to 2023, with potentially LinMiner03 being patient zero. Most likely, this malware at the time was unknown and maybe have gone undetected, but this is a great example of why organizations should return, retain their EDR data for a long period of time. With Chronicle, our default retention period for all data is one year, and that's all hot and actionable. Chronicle also automatically stitches together multiple data sets into investigative views, such as hash views or asset views to increase the analyst productivity and enable them to quickly take actions on SOC cases. So one example is by clicking the first observe button here with a timestamp associated to LeanMiner03. Um, and piecing together the event timeline of really what happened on this case just before and after the malware has been seen. So uh, we can really see the full story. So we quickly see within the event timeline that the user has logged into their PC and maybe opened an Excel file sheet, could be uh, you know a macro that's been running, and immediately after really opening the, the Excel, the malicious uh, activity has started. Another way to run investigations through all of the Chronicle data is through the SIM search, or what we like to call the UDM search, which stands for Unified Data Model. Um, so I understand uh, and, and really to decide to run the search through petabytes of data, I can run a search for maybe crypto mining attack, Google Cloud last week to see if there's any other alerts in my Google Cloud environment that could potentially be related to my investigation. Usually, in order to conduct the search, I would have to know what EDM, uh, UDM fields uh, to use. I need to know and type very specific syntax for my query. And frankly, I need to be patient since queries can be large and challenging to create uh, and to deliver exactly what I want to see. 
But now with Doit AI, it automatically translates my search query to Chronicle's unique data model. So I can run that search here or even add it in line and update the search in real time. So my query has resulted when I ran it uh, in finding related events. And I can click on the event to get more information about it, including the raw data if I need it, the severity and risk score from Chronicle, and I can see that there's also an active investigation and case running for it, uh, which is really, by the way, the case that we started from in this case. So I can just click this button uh, to easily pivot back to the existing crypto mining case. For summary, we just walked through a unified SOC workflow from initial case triage to understanding the malware intelligence and then scoping out the potential impact to my environment in a matter of a few minutes. I now feel confident about taking action um, and really make, you know, to make things easier for me, um, the playbook summarizes all of the remediation actions um, that I may want to take in one central place. I can see that I can contain the endpoint and escalate uh, the case to my SOC manager uh, for further response, etc. What's great about Chronicle uh, is that there's many hundreds and hundreds of built-in integrations. So I don't even have to open another console or be an expert on my EDR platform. Just clicking on the done button will execute the remediation sequence uh, and contain the endpoint for me. Simple as that. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.